I just love the 13 Pro. Not the regular 13, not the big Pro Max, powerful yet compact 13 Pro. And according to leaks so far, 13 Pro's successor, iPhone 14 Pro is about to get some major changes including thinner bezels, better camera and more. So let's dig deep into it and have a look at what all things will be new in iPhone 14 Pro. Well, for starters, it is rumored to have a better display. And no, not just aesthetic-wise, but quality-wise too. It is expected to be a 6.12 inch in size with thinner bezels and will have a pill plus punch hole cutout for face ID and camera. This means you can say bye-bye to notch. Last year, iPhone 13 Pro models came with the LTPO panel, which means they could go from 120Hz to as little as 10Hz depending upon the type of content that is being displayed on the screen. Well, 14 Pro could take it to the next level because the Pro models on iPhone 14 series could take the refresh rate from 120Hz to as low as 1Hz. This LTPO panel could help iPhone to save some battery as it is expected to have an always-on display, a feature where display shows clock, weather, calendar, stock, activities, and other data via widgets on the lock screen. This will be beneficial as to preserve the battery life when not in use. Next absolute crazy thing about iPhone 14 Pro will be its camera and just like every year, this year also we'll have one hell of a beast. Especially with the 48 megapixel camera sensor that's rumored to be in Pro models with slightly bigger camera bump. This major spec bump will allow iPhone 14 Pro to record videos in 8K for the first time and will drastically improve camera and video capabilities. Talking about the performance, this thing will be around 1.5 times faster than last year's 13 Pro because it will have faster and better A16 Bionic chip that's based on 5 nanometer architecture. There are some reports according to which the non-Pro models will not be equipped with this chipset and will have last year's A15 Bionic chip. But that would get really, really confusing for users to choose between iPhone 14 and iPhone 13 as both of these devices have literally the same specs, same screen, same processor and whatnot. But coming back to 14 Pro, this thing will be an absolute powerhouse with 6 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and 1 TB storage option. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, then I would really appreciate if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel. If we talk about the design of 14 Pro, this thing won't be very different from 13 Pro in terms of dimension and will also have flat edges and titanium chassis just like last year. A Chinese leaker also claimed that alongside the familiar graphite, iPhone 14 Pro will also be available in silver and gold. But the one that excites me the most is the addition of this dark purple color to the series. Thanks to our Twitter account named Sota, we do have a hint of how this thing will look and oh my god, just look at this beauty. When it comes to connectivity, just like you can expect from Apple, this thing will have the best of the industry. Wi-Fi 6E, Snapdragon X65 5G chip and satellite connectivity. I know, I know, you must be thinking, what is satellite connectivity? Basically, it is a feature that will allow your iPhone to communicate in regions where mobile data is unavailable. And iPhone 14s will be the first smartphone to have this feature. The rest of the specifications, including the battery size and charging ports are expected to be same as that of 13 Pro. Even though EU is constantly forcing Apple to switch from lightning port to USB-C on iPhones. But personally speaking, I don't see it happening anytime before iPhone 15 in 2023. Okay, so the one thing that shocks me the most is it it's pricing because we were expecting it to be somewhere around iPhone 13 series. But according to the leaks, the 128GB model will cost around $1,099, which means around 1 lakh 30,000 here in India. The 256 gigs model will cost around $1,200, which is approximately 1 lakh 40,000 here in India. 512GB model will cost around $1,400, which is approximately 1 lakh 50,000 here in India. And finally, 1TB model is rumored to be priced at $1,600, which is around 1 lakh 80,000 rupees in India. One thing that is to be kept in mind is it is still a rumor and this pricing is not yet confirmed. But still, no notch, always on display, 48 megapixel camera and potentially Type-C USB could really shake up the iPhone as we know it and I'm really, really excited for September. That is it for this video. If you like to stay updated with everything Apple, make sure you download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store. This is me, Yash, signing off and I'll see you in the next one.